Hello YouTube, it's me here again. Uh, as I promised, I will do another video with the uh, Evil 7 35. It's really windy today, as you can see, it's having really gusty winds, and um, it's my only chance now to do this video. Um, so, I run this engine a bit earlier uh, today after I go home from work. What I find, um, as in my first video that I did with it a couple weeks ago, I said it didn't require a pump. But on further testing, when I simulate uh, takeoff and nose up, the engine leans out quite a lot. So um, I went ahead and hooked the pump on it, did the same simulation, and runs fine, no perfect. So I'm gonna take my, my word that I said in my last video that it does not require a pump. But it definitely requires a pump if you're gonna do uh, crazy aerobatics and uh, maneuvers and stuff like that. It's a bit of an expensive route, as you can see the pump is on already to build a fuel pump. But I do have another source um, where I will get some uh, cheaper pump and it will be on my website as well. When I say cheaper, same build, they much smaller, they pump the same amount of fuel, I think a 0 0.05 bar uh, per minute. cheaper than the uh, multi-fuel pump. I think I paid £155 for that and the uh, other fuel pumps is uh, about £60 made here in the UK so um, I'm sure I have a lot of trust in it. Um, the top RPM I'm seeing with this setup is uh, 6100 but because the engine is brand new I kind of um, reach it up back to 58 on the top RPM with this prop I'm using is the 18 by 8 idles uh, happily around 16 or 1500 till the engine is fully broken and the owner will set it exactly how he wants for everything to run on the top and on the low this engine has to go back to Canada that's why I'm braving the weather and doing this video now so everybody could see it and uh, Hopefully, when the owner receives it, he could share some info back on the applicants on the plane. But for now, I don't have any gloves on, so I'm gonna use my little starter to get it going.
so as you can see on the top rpm really good um, it's really windy today so I'm not gonna stick out here too long I just want to brave the weather to just do this little video so everybody could see uh, the fuel pump in action as well as what I said I will post um, some cheaper fuel pump so people don't have to break their bank to get that uh, milky fuel pump that I'm using here in this video but if you want to go ahead and go down that route it's your choice but I'm not gonna have this in stock I will have the other fuel pump which will be doing the same job as well um, what else um, the WT carb uh, sorry it's not a WT carb it's a RCGF um, carburetor it's a copy of the WT carb they have the same um, built on the inside because I opened both of the carbs to see the reason why I'm using this one this one have a smaller Venturi it's 8 millimeter Venturi it's perfect size for this uh, 35 cc four stroke engine but if you do have source where you could get another um, WT carb or Zama carb where you can get that small Venturi I could sell you the carb um, intake manifold there and you could use your own carb you will check in the video of the description where you'll find all the link to the hardware um, the custom magnet ring and the new truck drive sensor bracket and as well with the, um, the carb there will be a little uh, modification for the engine mount to get the carb to fit nicely just a couple little grinding nothing major um, as you can see there you have about three to four millimeters stick out behind the back plate itself but besides that everything fits nicely and snugged um, yeah nice little engine works really well really good um, performance on the top um, I will advise anybody if they running it with a prop I will go up to the uh, 18 by 10 you will get a bit more torque off of this uh, little engine as well and keep the RPM in a reasonable range about um, 56 5500 where the engine will last a lot longer um, so okay I think that's it for this video as well subscribe and um, check out the links in all my videos there will be links there um, sorry check out the description in all my videos or you'll find links to parts and uh, different uh, forum as well where people will be talking about this engine and um, other conversion kit that I've done okay stay tuned for more great videos to come all right cheers bye